Hey what's up guys it's me again and welcome back to my channel Meta What Ifs. Today I am back with a new story. It's not the story that I you know mentioned in the previous video. You guys gave me a lot to think about because of your comments, comments that you did. I mean Spidey gave his suggestion, Jimmy did his suggestion and damn that was some cool ideas and inputs but a lot of other people are also giving their suggestions. I'm just listening and thinking of what could be the best to add on from all of these ideas that you have given me. And so far the boss man who himself commented this idea forgot his name. Well he didn't say anything just you know do this idea. Anyways I will be doing that idea next in the form of a movie but for the time being you gotta do with this story. I was reading a manga known as my death ability is extreme and yeah it also has an anime adaptation as well the guy is basically the end of everything and he can kill anyone by just thinking of well mere person's present and just saying die and he can kill them even their soul so it would be interesting and that is why it is a story because nerd is gonna kill everyone <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this one and if you do then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any more suggestions and ideas, you can put them down in the comment section. And if you want to add on to, you know, the story that I'm mentioning, which is basically what if, well, instead of Naruto, Menma and Mito, which are basically the, you know, evil twins of Naruto, were the ones who were neglected. It is kind of a reverse neglected story that will be made and yeah. Many people have already given their suggestions. If you want to add on something or say something, then you can do so in the comment section. Anyways, you have time until today, and after that, I will be posting the story tomorrow in the form of a movie. Anyways, enough of my yipping. Without any further ado, let's begin with our today's story. Our story begins in Konoha Gakure Nasato on October 10th in night time. As you go towards the outer skirts to see that the Kyubi no Yoko was attacking the said village. As... The shinobis were being thrown left and right just with the sway of its tail as the mighty Biju roared and was moving towards the center heart of the village. The civilians were evacuating and the current Hokage Minachana Mikaze has just arrived at the battlefield. In his arm was an infant child and that child was his son that was going to be used as his trump card to seal away the Biju. As soon as he was about to prepare the altar we see that Kushinam Uzumaki arrived there. Looking at her husband tiredly, just right after giving birth and being, well, ripped up, ripped out, ripped apart from the biju that was standing in front of them as their enemy now, we see that she was using the Uzumaki adamantium chains to hold down the said biju. As she looked tiredly towards Minato, a cold sweat was running through her body. Minato, hurry up! I'll be able to hold on as long as I can. As now we see, Minato nodded and immediately began to draw on the seal matrix on Naruto. After doing so, we see Hiruzen Sardobi, the man who was leading the charge while Minato was away, arrived in front of them. What the hell is going on, Minato? How did this happen? No time to explain. Just know this, that a masked person known as, well, claiming to be Madara Uchiha attacked me. What? What do you mean? I'm sorry, but your five and the others didn't survive. And it doesn't seem that I would either, or neither would Kushina. We want you to know that Naruto, our son, will hold on to the Biju. We want the villagers to please respect him as a hero, if they can. As Hiruzen was quite shocked and surprised while Minato was saying all this, as at that moment it registered in his mind that Minato was going to use the sacred seal that was forbidden even amongst the Uzumakis who created them, the Hakai Fuyin. Are you insane, Minato? You're going to make a deal with the Shinigami? It's the only way. There is no other way that I can, that I can see of. As now we see while all this was going on, as the hand seals were done, the Shinigami just didn't appear. What? Did you do something wrong, Minato? I, I think so. Let me try it again. As after doing the hand seals again and again, the Shinigami still didn't appear. What the hell is going on here? Minato, what is going on? What's taking you so long? Said Kushina tiredly, as the Biju was almost close to breaking free from her chains. As now we see, both Minato and Hiruzen were quite surprised and shocked that why wasn't the Shinigami appearing? They were doing the seals correct. Was it the Matrix that was wrong? After checking the Matrix again, Minato was confused. What is it, Minato? Did you find something? I didn't make any mistake. I am sure that much. The seal is alright and I'm doing the hand seal correct. But why isn't the Shinigami appearing? Let me do the hand seals. As after Hiruzen tried it, the Shinigami did not appear again. As suddenly something happened. Something that shook them all. As Naruto's eyes were a little bit open before going to sleep, as that is all Minato could see before, well, Kushina yelled out, 
as all every gaze turned towards her, as Krishna was on her knees, as the chains were also on the ground as they did begin to disappear because they were made out of her chakra. Kushina! As Minato dashed towards her while Hiruzen also picked up the child and dashed towards both of them. Kushina, what is wrong? Everything is fine. It's nothing. But where did the cubic go? Did he succeed it? No, the Shinekami wasn't appearing. What do you mean where did the... As they saw that the Biju has literally disappeared as it evaporated into tiny chakra particles in front of them. How is this possible? said Hiruzen. How did this happen? We, we are not sure, Hokage-sama. We are not sure. As now we see, every other shinobi was also quite confused aside from them. But one thing was for sure, the attack has subsided and the casualties were low. As on the other side we see, two of the people who were watching this while hidden were also confused. Zetsu, do you know what happened to the QB? What did the fort do? He, he didn't do anything. The seal he was trying to use was Ake Fuyin that would have summoned the Shinigami and made the new Jinchuriki. But it seems the Biju was killed? Killed? What do you mean, Zetsu? It is a goddamn freaking Biju. It can be defeated and could be recreated again. But killed? That is never heard of. Yeah, but I've seen Biju die and they die like that. In my life, I have seen that happen before while Madrasama was working with me. As now we see, this person's eyes narrowed. So you're saying that the Biju has died. How long will it be before it, well, regain its form? I don't know. It is the first time the Nine Tails have perished. All we can do is just wait and see for ourselves how long it takes. Damn it. This would certainly put time in our plan. Which it gives us a lot of chance, actually. What do you mean by that, Zetsu? I have a plan that will work in our favor and will be less dangerous for us to do so. Alright, I'm listening. As now we see, scene cut towards the Hokage office where Minato was seated after the council meeting was done. He was rubbing his temples because everyone was asking one question after the QB's defeat. What happened to it? All of them saw that the QB was, well, disappeared, but where did it go? And to be honest, Minato himself did not know where it went. As everyone was quiet, while Minato, Hiruzen, and Kushna were there inside the Hokage office. As now we see, Minato finally broke the ice. I don't understand. I made the seal matrix correct. I was even doing the hand seals correct, he said, matching all the hand seals. And still, the Shinigami wasn't there because, well, Minato was copying the hand seals from the scroll of sealings that was present there. Minato. This, this is not normal. Normally, the Shinigami would have answered your first call and summoned. Something must have gone wrong. Or is the seal faulty? No, the seal is not faulty at all, said Kushina. She was still recovering, but she was able to walk and talk and currently was holding on to her only son, child, and was quite happy to be honest that he was not succumbed to the same fate as her, the one of the Jinchuriki. As now we see, it was in that said, but how did this happen then, Kushina? I do not know about that as well. I have called out Sensei, and he'll be here soon, as he said. But until then, all we can do is just focus on, well, rebuilding the village and all the damage that has been done. And once again, he was in some, I apologize, because I was not strong enough to save Bivakusama and the others. It's alright, Minato. It's alright. As after that, we see, it took a few months as the village was rebuilt, and Jiraiya finally arrived back at the village. I heard what happened, Minato, said Jiraiya inside the office of Minato no Mikaze, the fourth Okage, and alongside them were Hiruzen Sarutobi and Kushina. But I still don't see it, why the seal wouldn't work. The seal has been, well, cleared out by the toads as well. It is a genuine seal that even the sage himself at one point have used in the past. Why didn't it work? It should have worked. That is what I was saying. And you say the QB disappeared. I talked about it as well. It seems that QB was killed. Killed? But how could that be, Sensei? It was literally demolishing us, said Minato, as Jiraiya also shrugged his shoulders as he was in the set. But Jiraiya, what Minato is saying is correct. We were trying to figure out how to work seal, and Kushina was holding on to that thing, and it suddenly vanished. And you saying that it is killed? Yeah, well, I asked the toads, and they did say and mentioned that this is how I normally a Biju dies. It will be re 
reincarnated and reborn into this world again, but it will take time. Since the QB has been killed for the first time in many years since it has been born, it will take time, a lot of time to, well, regain its strength and form again. Since it's a being made out of chakra. Well, all we can do is now wait. But this will be dangerous as well. Said Jiraiya, what if the other villages find out that we have lost our Biju? Rumors are spreading, Minato. Sensei, I'm giving you an order to go out and make sure that your spy network prevent this from happening. Alright, I'll work hard on it. And all we can do until then is wait, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. As now we see back at Minato and Kushina's home where both of them and their son was, well, present. As both of the parents were quite stressed at the same time, quite happy that their family was all together and back one in one piece. You know, Minato, I, I thought we wouldn't survive this, but I'm glad that we did. You're right, Kushina. I'm really glad. I fear that what if the QB is reborn and tries to attack us for what we did? We will take it down. That won't happen. I think I have a feeling that that wouldn't happen. Said Kushina with a smile on her face as Minato smiled as well. And they begin to focus on their son now. Naruto Uzumaki Namikaze. As now we have a time skip. Time skip of 13 years later. 13 years has gone by and Naruto has grown up at the age of 13. And something has came out only in front of his parents so far. Naruto didn't have chakra. He had physical strength and all that, but he didn't have an ounce of chakra within him. Because a child's chakra is unreadable even at birth, but at the age of 13 it would have been evident if he had a chakra pull or not, and so far he hadn't. But Naruto had an ability as well to counter that, and his ability was so frightening that his parents have kept it a secret, and made Naruto promise that he would never use his ability until only necessary. And that ability was instant death. He could kill anyone, anywhere, no matter where they were, just by saying the word, die. And that person would die immediately, without any reasons. It was quite a frightening ability, but it was Naruto's, the ability that their child was born with. As now we see, Naruto arrived back from the academy again, once more being bullied by Sasuke Uchiha and his lackeys. Because Naruto, even though he was the Hokage's child, was considered, well, um, a bane as well as a stain on his name. Even amongst the villages because they all have heard one thing. Minato's Namikaze's son, the fourth Hokage who saved them, not in the third grade Shinobi War, but also from the QB attack. His son doesn't have any chakra and is pretty much useless and a, well, stain on his existence. And they all hated him for that. Naruto obviously didn't care one bit about what anyone said. He was just happy dealing with his friends, which were Shikamaru and Choji, as well as Kiba, and, well, with his parents. As now we see Naruto back at home. I'm back. As Kushina then looked at Naruto, whose bag and clothes were again covered in dust. Naruto, did you get bullied again? Yeah, I kinda did. As Naruto said, Trying his best to, well, not look embarrassed. You did restrain yourself, right? Yeah, I did. That's good, my son. I'm gonna go have a word with your teacher. It's not necessary. Today was graduation and I doubt that we will see each other ever again. Well, about that, son. Said Minato as he appeared there. Oh, what is it, Tochan? As Minato then said, ah, Sensei wants to take you on a training trip. What? But, but why? Well, he says that he wants to see just how far your power, this ability can go. What? Why would Jiraiya want that? Said Kushina. She was enraged. Her son was born with an abnormal ability to take away someone's life. Just by saying a word and thinking about it. And it was already as it is, dangerous enough. And Jiraiya wants to experiment with that? She didn't want her son to be used as a guinea pig. It's alright, Kajan. I do want to know what this ability is. Yeah, it's, well, like this. Naruto will be taken to the Toad Mountain where he will just meet the great Toad Elder Sage. Nothing more and nothing less. We, he will return back after just a few months. They will monitor him and see what they can come up with. Oh, okay. If that is it, then I'm okay with that. Yay, I'm finally going away from the village for some time. Gives me a breather. As now we see, Minato and Kushina allowed their son to leave. 
but unaware that one person was keeping an eye on them, Donzo. And Donzo has been getting more and more interested in Naruto's abilities and even was thinking of taking this ability as his own. But unfortunately, no matter how many shinobis he sent, before they even could set a foot in the perimeters of the Uzumaki no Mikaze household, they would all die. As this ability made him realize that it was indeed truly frightening, made him a literal god that no one could touch. As Donzo being fearful but also, was also not foolish and was careful, that he didn't get caught. As now we see, the other two elders, Homura and Koharu, arrived near to him. So, why did you call us? The boy that is leaving. Yes, it is Minato's son that has, doesn't have any chakra. You, what you see is a useless boy, but what I see is a god in front of us. <laughs> have you finally gone snail, Danzo? said Homura. That boy is incompetent, and he's a stain to the name of the fourth Hokage. You don't see it. The boy's ability is instant death. I have come to confirmation of that. No matter how many shinobis I sent to capture him, to test out, all of them never return. If anything, their bodies were the only one finds. They can't even set a foot inside the Uzumaki no Mikaze parameters before being killed. Instantly. But how? Without the use of any jutsu or genjutsu, or even weapons, they just die. And I have come to a conclusion. What conclusion? You see, I did a test. I gave our a little bit of information about Naruto to Eva. What? You're insane? Said Koharu. Just hear me out, Koharu. And they sent it out and 40 Jonin squad. And you know what happened with all those 40 Jonins? They all died before they could even set a foot inside Konha walls. It turns out the kid's abilities are extreme. He can kill anyone anywhere just with the mere thought of it. As this and chills run down their spine. Think, thinking about that, if this, this is all true, then Donzo, that, that boy is a literal god in his own right that can kill anyone at any point. Yes, and that is why I have infiltrated the Toad Mountain. They will be there for a few months, and we have to make sure we find out what that boy is, so that we can deduce how to neutralize him if he tries to go against Konoha, because what he has is a power that is way beyond our imagination. As now we see, six months passed in the blink of an eye as the other Kenyans were doing their D-rank missions as Naruto finally returned. But Jiraiya? Well, he, Minato and Kushina were now inside the Hokage office with Hiruzen. It was sealed off, but Danzo was already aware. As now we see, both Danzo and Jiraiya speaking and answering the questions to both elders as well as to the other who were inside the Hokage office separately. As both of them said, Naruto is literally the end of all fates. He is literally the end of every soul, end of every life. That is what the Toad Sage said. I don't know how such a being known as the end, a calamity in its own right, could be re reincarnated in the form of a soul as your son, but it did. That is a being that even the Kamiyami and Shinigami fears. And that no wonder the Shinigami didn't appear that night. As now we see, Jiraiya was saying this to the others, as everyone was shocked. As Minato and Kushina were speechless, and so was Hiruzen. As that is when he said, are, are you sure about this? That such a being is, that even is feared by gods is here. Yes, the being that pursues even the time of creation has been reborn as Naruto. I, I don't know what will happen to our future or to this world, but if anything happens to the people he loves, they will die. Mere thought will alone will kill them. Naruto is not going to spare them. No one will be spared. As on the other side, when this was revealed to by the Danzo to the elders, they were just shocked. We have to do something about this. What do you mean the literal end is here? If the boy is the end, then we have to do something. He's just a little boy. We can kill him, right? He won't be killed. He won't be died. I'm not going to allow you to do that. But, but, but Danzo, haven't you heard? The boy is the literal end. We can't go against it, or we too will face or cease to exist. Not even our souls will be existent anymore. That is a being that even Shinigami, Kami and Yami are afraid to deal with. We are not gonna do anything. I can't believe this, Danzo, said Homura. You, of all people, are scared? Of course I am. That is a being that I even don't want to mess with. And you are talking about taking it down. If you want to, then do it on your own. But remember, I'm not the one involved in any of this. 
and Koharu and Homura, because of their fearful fact, revealed this to the civilian council, and there was an uproar. People with lit up torches as well as a lot of things arrived at the Uzumaki Namikaze household. As the mob was more than at least 500 people, civilians as well as shinobis combined, and there were one thing in their mind, to kill those who had brought the end into this world and the end itself. As both Minato and Kushina were quite shocked that their home was getting, well, breaking into, and some of them their own friends such as Fugaku, Chiha, and the others were leading this charge. As the other Anbus also arrived alongside the other clan heads, trying to prevent this from happening, but they too were being, well, fighting by the others. Fugaku has seen alongside the Uchiha clan as an opportunity to overthrow Minato and the others to take the village since it was in the basically civil war to take charge of the village for their own selves. But now what was about to happen was the one thing that they all would remember. As Naruto and Minato's allies then said, as Naruto arrived, anyone who has any sort of animosity against my parents and me, die. As immediately, in that instant, more than 600 shinobis, civilians all limped down to the ground, dead. And at that moment, Minato and Kushina realized that their son, true abilities as the end, was uh, in front of them. Just a mere thought, and he, would ki he has killed 600 people, more than half of a village eradicated. As when the news reached out to the whole Konoha, and even spread out, the people began to fear Naruto. There were obviously some who didn't fear him, such as Akatsuki and Orochimaru, who wanted his power, the power of the end. Who wouldn't want that? So, what did they do? They summoned the Shinigami themselves with the help of the Uzumaki's marks that were scattered as to ask how to beat the end and what did the Shinigami do? First them before leaving, telling them that the gods have abandoned their world because the end has been born here and if they went against it, the calamity will befall on them and they will all cease to exist. As the other Bijus once they heard this, they too were quite shocked and scared. They warned their, through their Jinchurikis to the Kages, but they didn't listen. And in the end, when the World Great Fourth Shinobi War happened, it was all to take down what they feared the most. And that was Naruto Uzumaki no Mikaze, otherwise known as the end. As Naruto was the alone one standing at the front gates of Konoha, as all of the armies, which were more than thousands, more than 50 thousands of Shinobi's Konovichis, even the civilians and minor villages joining together, arrived at the front gates. Even the Akatsuki did. As Naruto looked at all of them and said, All of you in front of me, and those who are hidden, who have an ill intent towards me and my family, die. And with that, that word alone left his mouth, everyone in Konoha witnessed something so terrifying that they were shaken to their core. Even the people like Hiruzen and Danzo were. And that was, more than 50,000 shinobis perished alongside their kage. When the news reached to the parts of the whole elemental nation, the land of the other lands where the Daimyo resided, they too became fearful. And once they realized what the other tried to do and failed, they knew better than not to mess with such a being. The Katsuki, Orochimaru, everyone was eradicated. And those who all held an ill intent were killed. Mainly Iwa Gakure, who was all eradicated. Even the civilians who hated his father were killed. And Kumo, who wanted to capture Kushina, were all eradicated as well. Asuna, who wanted to kill Naruto, mainly the shinobis were all killed as well. And in the end, more than 80% of the population just with a single word have died at the hands of Naruto. And as for Naruto, he still was playing shogi at his friend's home with Shikamaru and Choji. Even if Naruto was the end, he still was, well, their friend. And Shikamaru and Choji realized that they should treat Naruto normally, even if after all of this. Why? Because they've loved their life for once and second. Naruto was still their friend. They could see it. Because Naruto wasn't acting high and mighty after all that. And as for the Harunos and the others, those who opposed Naruto and his family, they too have died. Meaning only the Inizuka clan, the Hyuga clan, and the Akamichis and Yamanakas as well as um, Nara clan were the only ones left alive, while the rest all perished. In the end, Naruto was 
still, even though considered the end, was continuing to live his normal life without the worries of the world. As now we go to the space where we see the, well, Otsutsukis who have witnessed this all, and they were quite entrusted into this, but their God themselves contacted them even after his death, and his one word was enough, do not go there if you don't wish to die. And with this sentence alone, they knew if this was message from their God, it was warning them that the day too will perish meeting this, the end as the people claimed it to be. So, they listened and stayed away. As for the first time in many years of her being captured, Kaguya Otsuzuki was grateful that she wasn't facing this monster and it was all thanks to her children. And she thanked them wholeheartedly for that. As this is where I'm going to be leaving this story off guys. I hope you like this one and if you did then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel. And yeah, basically if you watch the anime, that is what the whole dude does. Even kill the, you know, goddess in that anime and even, you know, demon king and yeah, the saintess who was a bitch and summoned them in the first place to be their playthings. It was quite hilarious and fun and satisfying to watch. I do recommend highly that you check that anime out. My death ability is, well, too difficult for anyone to handle. I mean... I guess that is the name. I hope I'm saying it correctly. It is. It has an anime adaptation and a manga as well. Try it out. I mean, who knows? Maybe you'll like it. Anyways, this is it for today. Peace.